What's up, everyone? This is David with PickDogs.com with your free pick in the Washington vs. Kale game on Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. We give away a ton of free picks here on our YouTube channel, as well as PickDogs.com and SportsChatPlace.com. But if you're wondering what bets I like the best and what bets our team likes the best, head on over to PickDogs or SportsChatPlace, click on the Premium Pick tab, and you can check out all of our expert handicappers. Don't forget to use code PICK at checkout to save 15% any purchase of $19 or more. All right, let's get into this one here as we have a Pac-12 battle between Washington and Kale. Washington will be at home for this one, and they come into this one ranked number eight in the country, and they are a perfect 3-0 to start the season. The Huskies went into East Lansing and beat Michigan State badly last week by a score of 41-7, and they outgained the Spartans by a total of 713-261 to with 536 passing yards. This was a very impressive game um, by Washington. I know Michigan State uh, not very good this year and going through some issues in the program, but it was a dominant performance by the Huskies as they went in and left no doubt um, in that one. Prior to that, Washington defeated Tulsa 43-10, and then in their first game of the season, they played Boise State and won 56-19. This Washington offense is one of the best offenses in the country. They're scoring over 46 points per game, and they're throwing for 493 passing yards per game. This Washington offense is led by Michael Penix Jr. He's thrown for over 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns, and one interception in three games. His favorite target, Rome Adunze, has got 22 passes for 419 yards and two scores. The Huskies' defense has been solid as they're allowing 12 points against per game with 207 passing yards and 119 rushing yards. They really haven't played anyone very good offensively. That Boise State team um, still struggling a little bit to start the year, so not sure how good they are. Tulsa is an average team, and Michigan State... Uh, this is not one of the Spartans' better teams this year. So tough to know how good that Washington defense really is. On the other side, looking at Cal, they come in 2-1 and one after defeating Idaho 31-17 to last week. Uh, probably would like to see them win by more than 14 points against Idaho, uh, but a win's a win. Prior to that, they did lose to Auburn 14-10 to in a very low-scoring, entertaining game um, where they outgained Auburn 273-230. to but they did turn the ball over three times, and they had some massive kicking issues as they missed three field goals in the loss. Kale did open the season with a win against North Texas, 58-21. to The Kale offense is scoring 33 points per game with 195 passing yards and 242 rushing yards. And that rushing attack is led by Jaden Ott, who has rushed for 266 yards and three scores. He didn't play last week against Idaho, so those numbers are just through two games. Uh, he was injured against Auburn, but he is expected to go here in this one. Kale has some questions at quarterback, as Ben Finley was the starter to start the season. Um, he struggled a little bit. He's thrown for 319 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. But Sam Jackson, the fifth, came in and played a good amount of that Idaho game. He's thrown for 267 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions this season. Uh, they haven't announced who's starting yet for Kale, but it sounds like we might see both quarterbacks in this game. Um, and frankly, I don't think it's going to really matter against this Washington offense anyways. The Kale defense is allowing 17 points against per game with 185 passing yards uh, against, but that number is going to go up in this one. Uh, like I said, Washington has one of the best offenses in the country and the absolute best passing attack in the country, as Penix Jr. has just been unstoppable. Really going back to last year, he played very well, but to open up this season with over 1,300 yards in three games um, is pretty dominant. Washington's at home in this one, favored by right around three scores right now. Uh, and I don't think this Cal team is built to score as many points as Washington's going to be able to put up in this one. You know, Cal fought hard in that Auburn game, losing 14-10. to 10. Offensively, they struggled. Only put up 31 against Idaho. Um, they did put up 58 against a bad North Texas defense. But all in all, this Washington team is looking like one of the best teams in the country, to be quite honest, and I've seen nothing that would suggest going against them. So I'm going to take that Washington passing attack, and I'm going to take them uh, minus the 20.5 is the current spread. So I'll take Washington minus the points as my free pick. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, as well as turn those notifications on so you're the first to see all of our content as we release it. 
If you're looking for my best bets, head on over to pickdogs.com. Click that premium pick tab. You can check out me and all of our other expert handicappers. While you're on the sites, don't forget to use our betting tools. They're 100% free. They give you a great amount of information and helps you get a leg up. Good luck, and I'll see you guys soon.